hopefully I can, you know, teach you guys a little bit about sonar fishing. Um, you know, one thing I kind of want to get clear on, on fishing and people ask me all the time is that they see videos or they've seen major league fishing or they see something where I have caught fish, seeing them on the graph and dropping to them and catching them. That doesn't happen all the time. And people get discouraged about it because they go, man, I watched that video. I went out to my lake. They, I just, I couldn't figure out how to do it. And I go, well, I do this once or twice a year. This isn't something that you can go out any given time on any given body of water and catch them that way. This is something that is a unique situation. Uh, summer it happens, fall it happens, and in the winter time it happens. But it, it, it's not all the time. It, it, the fish have to be deep, they have to be schooled up. You have to be able to see them down there and you have to be able to drop to them too. So um, keep that in mind. Don't get discouraged if, if you take this to your lake and it doesn't happen. It's the wrong time of year. You know, it could be something else. So, um, you know, keep that in the back of your mind while I'm talking about some of this stuff. The biggest thing about sonar fishing and, and, and sonar is, is deciphering what you see down there. Uh, a lot of times people ask me, in fact, just the other day I was out on the water and a guy you know, yells at me at the boat ramp and goes, man, I, I had a question about sonar. And I go, what's up? He goes, I keep seeing these lines down there. I don't know what they are. You know, I, I'm not seeing arches, I'm seeing lines. And you really just have to decipher what's down there. And one thing I want to get out of the way right now is when you're looking down there, people are always looking for arches. Uh, can, can people tell me, I, I know I talked to two guys, I'm not seeing them here. I talked to them at the show yesterday um, about when you're looking at that screen and you see an arch, is that fish below you or did it pass? That's good. People always ask me, man, I see those arches down there. I can't get them to bite. Like, well, that arch is behind you. It's gone. He's not there. You're looking for a line down there when you're sonar fishing. A line means that that signal is continually under your boat. So a fish is going to be a line. An arc is a fish that was passed. It was behind you. You already went over it and he's gone. He's out of that signal. So imagine that sonar as being a signal that's shooting down to the bottom. It's just a, a rapid signal. And every time it hits something between the boat and the bottom, it's going to show that. It's going to show that as something on the bottom. So is that why there are arches? It's an arch because it's mapping their motion in effect? An arch essentially is when the fish, if you're moving, or the fish is moving, either one, comes into the signal, it starts as an arch. It starts to come up. When it's completely in the signal, it flattens out. When it's leaving the signal, it arches back down again. That's why it creates an arch. So if, the, if you think of a cone angle, all sonar shoots down in a cone, cone angle like this. Okay, so when that fish comes into that cone angle, like that, you know, if this is, uh, if he's coming in, it starts to show it as an up arch. Then once it's underneath the boat, that's where you get that top or flat spot and when it's leaving, that's when it shows that down arch. That's what creates the arch. So a perfect arch has come and gone. That is not down there anymore. And people don't realize that. A lot of people think they're just looking for arches. You're, I mean, I'm looking for lines. I want something, we always call it spaghetti noodle, something where you're seeing these things moving all over. And I have some pictures of that uh, that we'll show, especially in the, in the, the next seminar. Um, so that's what we're looking for. So keep that in mind you know, throughout this, that you're looking for a solid target that's continuously in that zone. You know, it's down there the whole time, so you're looking for a line. Go ahead. Okay, so side image. Uh, has anybody not seen side image on the water? Everyone seen it? You have not seen it? Okay, side image is basically taking, uh, it, it, it's really creating a 3D image of the bottom, uh, but it's, it's also shooting out to the side. So this is where you can cover more water, um, you know, idling around. Uh, having the, the, the images, you know, the beam shooting out to the side, I can create a bigger grid when I'm, when I'm you know, looking around and looking for stuff, looking for cover. Uh, the nice thing about it is with, with side image, I can actually see stuff out on the side. I can zoom over to it or scroll over to it with my uh, cursor and I can mark a spot. So if I'm idling somewhere and, I, and I'm looking for stuff out, structure out on the sides and I see a tree or I see a rock off to the side, I could take the cursor, scroll over to it, and mark a waypoint on that rock or that piece of target down there. Uh, create the waypoint. When I make my next turn, I can drive right over the waypoint and see if there's any fish on it. 
sometimes you can see fish on the side image as well. Uh, but I get a good 3D view of what's down there. And the nice thing about using side image is that I, I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.